The whole team looked at the cartoons and they proved to be really helpful to a point. The cartoons, remember, are single panel, one idea or one image. So they sort of gave us the tone and the world. But other, well, after that, we were on our own to create our own story. One of my favorite cartoons has Gomez pushing Wednesday on a swing, but the swing is made out of a witch's broom. It was an inspiration for a song in Act Two where Wednesday is uh, distraught about her uh, relationship with her boyfriend, and Gomez needs to do something to help her, and she sits down on the swing, and uh, he sings the ballad uh, called Happy Sad, which is the idea that life is uh, full of wonderful things, but it's also full of sad things. And in fact, Gomez is feeling those things at that moment because he's sensing that his daughter is wanting to strike out on her own. And he's happy that she's finding her voice and finding her, her way as she's turned 18. But he's also a little bit sad about it because he doesn't want to lose her either. Trying to sort out what the cartoons would sound like was a little easier than it seemed at first because we recognized that each one of them had uh, particular behaviors and habits and backgrounds, or at least suggested backgrounds from the cartoons. And so uh, Gomez, for example, having a Spanish name and a Spanish attitude is followed by the classic Spanish guitar, and Morticia is followed by a gypsy violin, and Wednesday is followed by an electric guitar. Uh, those are three of the primary instruments that sort of sneak into their songs or their moments so that sort of identify them musically. In addition to some of the vaudeville-inspired music that goes along with Uncle Fester, there's a ni late 19th century grand sort of Straussian gothic romanticism that runs through the show um, that's both at times scary and beautiful and I hope that people walk away surprised and moved by the music as well as uh, finding it uh, amusing and tuneful. Mm -hmm.